Today is the fifth day of Kwanzaa. Nia, which means purpose. Nia recognizes purpose, the focus on building and developing our community in order to restore our people to their traditional greatness. Sadie Tanner Moselle Alexander, a writer, 1898 to 1989, a native Philadelphian. Alexander was the first black woman to receive a PhD in economics in the United States of America. The first black woman student to graduate with a law degree from Penn Law School and the first African American woman to practice law in Pennsylvania. Richard Allen, a minister, 1760 to 1831. Richard Allen was a minister, an educator, a writer, also a Philadelphia native, founded the African Methodist Episcopal Church, the first independent black denomination in the United States of America. Maya Angelou, a poet. Angelou was an American poet, singer, and civil rights activist, born in 1928 and making her transition in 2014. She was well known and famous for her autobiography, I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. Arthur Ashe, a tennis player, 1943 to 1993, a native of Richmond, Virginia. Arthur Ashe's resume includes three Grand Slam titles and the title of the first black player selected to the United States Davis Cup team and the only black man ever to win the singles title at Wimbledon, the U.S. Open, and the Australian Open. James Baldwin an American novelist, 1924 to 1987. Baldwin was an American novelist, playwright, and activist most notably known for the notes of a native son. Ruby Bridges, civil rights activist, 1954, and currently living. At age six, Bridges embarked on historic walk to school as the first African-American student to integrate the all-white William France Elementary School in Louisiana. Bessie Coleman, an aviator, 1892 to 1926. Coleman was the first black woman to fly an airplane Claudette Colvin, civil rights pioneer, 1939 to this present. Colvin was arrested at the age of 15 for refusing to give a receipt to a white woman nine months before Rosa Parks' most famous protests. Mega Evers, civil rights activist, 1925 to 1963. Evers was an American civil rights activist in Mississippi, the state's field secretary for the NAACP, and a World War II veteran serving in the United States Army. Mary Fields, a mail carrier, 1832 to 1914, also known as Stagecoach Mary. Fields was the first African-American to work for the U.S. Postal Service. Born a slave, she was freed when slavery was outlawed in 1865. Rudolph Fisher, a physician, 1897 to 1934. Fisher was an American physician, radiologist, novelist, short story writer, dramatist, musician, and orator. In addition to public publishing scientific articles. He had a love for music. He played piano, wrote musical scores, and toured with Paul Robeson, playing jazz. James 14, an abolitionist, 
1766 to 1842. Fourteen was an American, African American abolitionist and wealthy businessman in Philadelphia. Born free in the city, he became a sailmaker after the Revolutionary War. Lasting Hughes, a poet. 1902 to 1967. Hughes was an American poet, social activist, novelist, playwright, and columnist. Born in Missouri, he moved to New York at an early age, becoming one of the earliest innovators of a new art form, jazz poetry. Nipsey Russell, a rapper, entrepreneur, 1985 to 2019. He was an American activist, entrepreneur, and Grammy award-winning rapper. Raised in South Central, he joined gangs to survive before eventually attaining success in the music industry. Hustle focused on giving solutions and inspiration to young black men like him, denouncing gun violence through his music, influence, and community work, while speaking openly about his experiences with gang culture.